Chief and Council were pleased with today's peaceful Idle No More event in support of Chief Theresa Spence and in protest of Canada's imposition of legislation that have angered Native people across the country. Today we organized to um, show our support for our brothers and sisters across the nation uh, and also to support Chief Spence in her fight against the uh, federal government in uh, the laws and um, such that Stephen Harper is making um, that are going to affect not just Native people across the country but uh, all people across Canada. And it's a fight that we have, not just ourselves, but with our neighbours. And today we gathered, and it wasn't just Native people, we had neighbours from surrounding communities who came and joined us for our fight, because they understand that uh, we're not just under attack here, that this is their fight too. Well, uh, so far so good. Uh, I think it's a great show of solidarity for Chief Spence. Uh, I would guess about 200 people plus have showed up from the community, from every different, uh, I'll say, sector of the community. It's good, it feels great to feel unified and be unified in something uh, as great as a cause as this. And we wish Chief Spence all the best. I was proud to be out there watching our people stand up for what they believe in and, you know, it was moving. The lady, Miss Spence, she's been, you know, putting her life on the line for her Native peoples. And, you know, I hope this carries on forward to other Native communities and we all can stand up together and make Harper realize how his wrongs are. The, the march this, this morning uh, went very well. It was um, it was peaceful as we as we claimed it would be, uh, but at the same time, it, it did send a very strong message to uh, to the to the government uh, that you know we will uh, no longer sit back and, and allow government to uh, keep pushing us pushing our back against the wall. Uh, we tried to be diplomatic for a long time with them, and it's clear that the, the good faith is not on their side. And with the march today, it was certainly in support of Chief Spence and her hunger strike, but it's more than that. It's about the whole overall attitude of, of the Harper government uh, towards the na Native people in general. And with the cross-section of people that were out there today, you know, people with various um, backgrounds in our community, different political beliefs in our community, but to see us all gathered together as, as one unit was, uh, was very inspiring and it was a, a very powerful moment. Just from her action, us women from the Mohawk communities coming together and going to see her was the start. It's a start. It's carrying on all over this country and people are coming together just like we are today. So I just had to commend her because what she's doing is so inspiring for a, a, a woman who believes so much in her land and her people that she's willing to die. You know? And I look around the faces here today I'm sure a lot of us would be willing to put our lives on the line to ensure that for the next seven generations that we, as Ganyatahaga, as nations across this territory, ensure 